Hi guys, in this presentation, we shall learn about Fibonacci series, how to write, how to write the program. Okay, what is a Fibonacci series? So, Fibonacci series is represented like starting value with 0, 1 and from here onwards, addition of numbers like see 0 and 1 answer will be 1, 1 and 1 the answer will be 2, 1 and 2 answer will be 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 3, 8 and so on. Now, how to generate this using a program? Okay. Before understanding the series, we have to observe some of the important patterns in here. After that, we'll get the answers. Let's see. See, first of all, these two are the starting points of the series. Okay. And entire series starts from here, 0 and 1. After that, addition of that and putting all our the answers, we'll get the answer. Okay. I can consider like x and y okay if i add x and y i'll get the next term okay i can write like see i'll put this here now in this block this is x and this is y in this block it is x and y whenever written x y on the top of the box that represents corresponding values to the bottom okay now see here whenever you add 0 plus 1 the next values we have to store in next term y and in this box here x and y if i add 1 plus 1 we have to store that next value in, in, in the place of y so how can we write this in the program see first of all x and y these are the initial values so i'll write x equal to 0 and y equal to 1 see these are the initial conditions after that what i have to get is i want to find its next value see next value is nothing but addition of this x and this y okay i'll add x and y and put it in the next value okay after that see i have to make this assignment whatever i have stored in y i have to give it to x what I have what I have stored in next value I have to give it to y so I can write something like x equal to y which means this y value should be given to next x value okay and we got the addition answer and we have stored in next variable so we'll assign this next variable to here so which means y equal to next so up to here it's fine so how to print the values see while assigning the 0, first we will print the x value. I will write like printf, print the x value, okay, print the x value. So, this is our program, okay. Let us dry run it and see how it works. Consider x as 0, y as 1, next term has no value, consider, okay, for our program. First of all, x0, y1, okay. First, print the value of x. So, first, 0 will be printed, okay. And then, x plus y. 0 plus 1 is 1 and that will store in next variable, okay. And take that y value and put it in x. Take that y value and put it in x, which means this is modified. And take that next value, put it in y. Take that next value and put it in y. So, this is modified. So, again, I have to come here so I have to come there we have to use some type some type of loops okay if I have to come there and print x value then I will get answer as 1 okay again x plus y x plus y is 2 the 2 is stored in next variable okay this again 2 is in next variable okay next y is stored in x y is stored in x which means modified by 1 and next is stored in y stored in this 2 is taken from here to here so this is modified okay after that again go back and print the x value what is the x value 1 1 okay again add x plus y x plus y x plus y is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 store in a variable here a next variable okay and take the value of y and put it in x take the value of y and put it in x which means 2 here take the next value put it in y take the next value and put it in y which means here 3 again go go back to go back and 
print that x variable 2 okay again do this x plus y 2 plus 3 is 5 5 is stored in the next variable y's value will store in place of x 3 and next value is stored in the place of y 5 print the x value 3 you can see the pattern okay 0 1 1 2 0 1 1 2 3 3 okay now if you next we print it we will get the answer as 5 x okay so this is how a fibrosis series is generated okay so for example if i want to if i want to print the 7 fibrosis series loop it 7 times okay we'll see how to loop it you can see that initially i have a variable x and y which are initialized with 0 and 1 and next and i are uninitialized okay now this is a for loop which is nothing just to loop loop these statements okay and i have said that in previous slide that if you want to if you want to get the range of seven numbers then loop it seven times now see here i equal to zero to i less than seven i less than seven means six from zero to six the range is seven only or you can use like one to less than or equal to seven okay it is your wish and see exactly what i have written see this is the code which i have written here and we'll compile and execute it how it works let's see and i'll execute it you can see that there are this is the fibonacci series okay zero one one two three five eight okay if i want to increase the range let's see suppose if i want to get the range as okay for example 20 okay let's see compile it and run it see it is working you can cross check also see 5 plus 8 is 13 13 plus 8 is 21 21 plus 21 plus 13 is 34 and so on and so forth okay so this is how we get the we get the fibonacci series okay